Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Ashwal and today's video is about the all new R15 V4 edition and it comes in the three different variants which is the R15 V4, the M and the Moto GP edition and depending on the variants the price range from 1.67 lakhs up to 1.79 depending on the variants. Yamaha R15 the fourth generation comes with a lot of features including the most unique the bifunctional LED head headlamp with the LED DRLs which gives a beautiful look and a rugged look in the front. It has two different modes that's the street and track and it also has a Yamaha Y connect which can be connected to this bike which will give you information like which mode the time the gear position call and message alerts last park location mobile uh, you know battery status and all these information will be displayed on the uh, console as well as on the app so you all this can be tracked and it's the 155cc uh, liquid cool engine which has an 18.4 PS and uh, it has a current gen V3 and uh, suspension and brakes are more or less almost the same and uh, this video is gonna also be a comparison of the V3 which is there on the left right now which you guys can see and on the right is the V4 edition. We will be comparing it side to side and I'll be showing you what major you know, looks and you know features wise. So as you guys can see the headlight is completely different. The V4 has a bifunctional headlight with the DRLs and even the fork legs have uh, you know the golden color and here it's the normal chrome and black and it's upside down fork as you guys can see the difference so that's major and it also has you know a dual tone blue color which is given which is a matte and in this it's more like blue and black just two color scheme and in the v4 we have the three color scheme and major difference is physically that you can see is the tank so let me show you guys that first so this is how it looks on the side and you guys can see it has more of the r6 r1 uh, designed tank which is unique and little more higher you know the height wise it's little bigger so this is the side view and more or less the uh, tail basically the rear end is almost the same It, uh, and the seating is exactly the same. The only difference that you can see is the keyhole for it. And I'll be showing you guys a little close by. This is the detailing I'll be showing as well. This is the detail, um, you know, detailing given on the bike. And here you guys can see it's more or less plain, where in that you had more like a honeycombish kind of a design. So that's, that's how it uh, looks from this angle. And like I was talking about the tank, tank is a major difference. So this is the top view of the V3 edition and uh, Yes, so this is how it looks. So this is the top view of the V3 edition and um, and this will be the V4's tank. So you guys can see it's completely different. It's a little more higher. So like I said, you guys can compare it right next to each other. It's a little more higher on the V4 compared to the V3. And like I said, on the seat, you have the keyhole, which is, uh, you know, used to open the seat lock. So that position is different. That's That's the main difference right here. Now let's get back to the front and show you guys the fork legs again. So this is the top view of the V3 again. So let's go back to the front. So this is the fork legs of the V3 and this is the V4. So you have a goldenish color and uh, talking about the seat, let's see it parallelly. Like I said, you guys can see the keyhole. It's, it's on the bottom and on the right hand side on the V4, it's on the seat itself. So this is one major difference that you guys, you guys can see. This is the V3, like I said, it's on the bottom and on the V4, it's on the seat itself. So this is the major, but seating is exactly the same as you guys can see, comfort wise. And this is the radiator, uh, the position and the design, and it's a little different. So that's why I just wanted to show you guys majorly what is physically different in these bikes. Talking about the max power difference between the V4 and the V3, V4 has an 18.4 PS, whereas the V3 has an 18.6 PS. And about the maximum torque, the V4 has a 14.2 Nm at 7,500 RPM and whereas the V3 has a 14.1 Nm at 8,500 RPM. And also like mentioned before, the suspension in the front, the V4 gets a telescopic upside down and whereas the V3 gets a telescopic fork with 41 mm diameter. And talking about the rear suspension, V4 gets a link type monocross whereas the V3 is just a normal monocross. So the major difference like you guys can see this is the v4 edition you have the normal high um, in the high lamps and on the right hand side you have this is the console basically and on the right hand side you have the ignition switch off and everything all together in one single button so this is how the console looks and uh, all the information like i said when you connect to the y connect app will be displayed on this console right here so right now let's just compare it with the uh, v3 edition so 
this is the old v3 so this is how the console starts up and in this you do not have much of the information compared to the uh, v4s because you have a lot of information like the call alerts and all that which is not available in this so yes guys this is this is majorly is what uh, the main difference between the r15 v3 and the v4 and um, you know the v3 uh, this is the v4 basically the v4 has the uh, stop a ground and in the start at the same button like i said you can kill the engine start and put on this uh, neutral thing at the same time so this is how it looks overall and it has a uh, uh, you know beautiful blue color right now and i will also be showing you it in the matte black uh, but before on the v3 edition matte black was launched a little late but in the v4 you have the black edition available right now and uh, as you guys can see it is more of a matte black and a white color uh, combination but whereas the v3 was more like black and silver or you call it as chrome uh, right now so that was that was even better you know look wise it was much better on the v3 uh, this looks more like a black and white combination a chrome would have been a little more exclusive uh, because you know when you switch on these headlights in the dark it's going to look really beautiful and bold but yes it's already it's it's not an option now so still comparatively this is my favorite black is my favorite because it looks beautiful because it's completely black it's only the stickering and model name is given in the white and it's not very thick it's just the outlines of the r15 naming and branding and on uh, on, on the uh, logo is chrome as usual it's the same on both the colors and um, like i said even this black edition also has its uh, folk and golden color so that's that's common between the all the colors in the r15 edition so yes guys this is about it this is the complete review of the r15s and you know comparison between the both so like i said i will be also making a ride review basically you know how the riding experience was a complete video in the part 2 of this so make sure you hit the subscribe button and hit the bell icon to get notified when i post this video thank you guys thank you so much for watching stay home stay safe